Hello guys, welcome back to Maison African Motives, still on engineering science N1. In this platform, we shall be working on energy, work and power from the question paper, which was written in July, 2022. So we have got the question, which is on question number seven that we are going to focus on. Uh, not wasting much time, let us quickly rush through the questions. On 7.1, we are given that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Okay, so this part, they can even ask you to define energy. So state the transformation of energy in the following examples. A battery connected to a light bulb, okay? So remember that a battery, it has got a chemical energy in this case. So if we change to this light, so it's going to be chemical to light energy in this case, okay? So this is going to be chemical to light energy, all right? So this is chemical to light energy, all right? Uh, a brick on the edge of a building falls to the ground. So if there is a uh, falling to the ground, that means there is a, a, a movement in this case, okay? Uh, that is taking place, there is a movement, okay? So when it is on the edge, it's it's just a stationary, but falling, there's movement, which means we are talking about ki kinetic now. So it's going to be potential to kinetic. So this is potential energy to kinetic energy. All right, so this is going to be transmitted to kinetic energy, all right? So that is what we have in this case, all right? Uh, so if you are on the light there, on the light bulb, uh, if you light a bulb, definitely somehow they can be hit, okay? If you, uh, by time, as time goes on, they can be hit. So you can change from chemical to heat also, okay? Uh, 7.2, building material with a weight, take note, we are given the weight, which is the force of 520 Newton is lifted upwards to the 50 floor each Floor is 2,2 meters high. So take note, guys. Well, how many floors do we have? There are five to the 50 floor. Each, they are separated 2,2 meters. So the total distance is going to be five times 2,2, which is 11 meters, okay? So we are given on 7.21 to draw a neat neighborhood force displacement, that is force distance graph, and use the scale one centimeter to one meter, that is for distance, uh, 100 Newton to two centimeters, that is for the force, okay? So take note, we are given the total force, which is 520. So we can just have our sketch even somewhere here. All right, so this is question 7.21. So the total force that we are given is 520 Newton. And the total displacement that we are given in this case, we calculated and we got il, uh, 11 meters. Remember, it was five, uh, 50 to the 50 floor, and each was separated by 2,2. So that's where we have to multiply. So now from our velocity, uh, from the force distance graph, we are supposed to have force and distance. So we can just uh, use our ruler here. Let's just take our ruler and see. Just I'm going to show you a sketch, but please do this accurately because you are given a scale. So everything is supposed to be accurately done. Okay. But as for me, I'm just going to represent uh, with a sketch, but uh, almost uh, in the same way that you're supposed to have. Okay. So this is what you're going to do, guys. Uh, if you are to check here, uh, sorry, I want this piece. Sorry, guys, I just want to take this one. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, let me take it up or even to remove it like this. Okay, so this is what you're going to have in this case. We have got our force on this side, which is in Newton. So this is our force measured in Newtons here. And this is our displacement. So we are going to have this as displacement in meters. So according to scale, we are given that one centimeter represents one meter. Okay, so we are going to use each centimeter as a meter. So you separate from zero here, one centimeter, that's one meter. So it's going to be one, one centimeter, two meters, one centimeter, three up to 11. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, up to 11. All right, so that's each centimeter representing one. On the force, we are given that two centimeters now, they represent 100 Newton, okay? So after two centimeters, you represent 100, okay? After two centimeters, let's say this is your two centimeters. Two centimeters, it corresponds with 100. Two centimeters, you add another 100, which is now 200. Two centimeters, you add another 100, which is now at 300 and so on, at 400, at 500, and at 600. All right, something like that, so that we can accommodate 520. Okay, so if you are to take note, the 520 according to your scale, here in between, maybe we've got our 520 at this point, just after 500, that's where we have our 520 Newton. So this 520, it corresponds with 11. If you are to take this point direct from this point, okay, uh, direct from this point to this point, it must correspond with 11. So you draw with your ruler straight to 11. It goes down straight to 11. So I want you there to use your ruler. So everything here, it represents uh, the work done, okay? So this is force, this is distance, uh, which is displacement, but everything under here represents the work done, which is the area that is force times distance. Okay, anyways, uh, that was the sketch, but you're supposed to do an accurate diagram, like I said, 7.22 from the graph, calculate the work done, all right? So like I was saying, guys, that work done is the one that we have under this graph. So that means our work done is force times distance, which is area under the graph, okay? So that is your work done in this case is equivalent to the area under the graph. And the area we are referring to a rectangle, this shape that we have, that's a rectangle, which is length times width or length times breadth, or simply force times distance. So we are given uh, 520 for force, that's 520, times the distance from this point to this point, which is 11. All right, so you're going to multiply 520 times 11, uh, which in this case is going to give us, let's see, 520 times 11, that's 5,720. So you're going to have 5,720 joules, okay? So this is work done, which is measured in joules or you can convert to kilojoules. If you divide by 1,000, this is going to be 5,72 kilojoules. Okay, so that is if you want to convert to kilojoules. Okay, so that was the question that we had on question seven, uh, which is an energy, weight, and power. And it had seven marks, as you can see, guys. That's just seven marks. So please make sure that you read everything, study everything on weight, uh, power, and the, uh, on energy, work, and power. Okay, so that's it, guys, from us on African Motives. Till we meet again.